Love is beyond relation. Normally we mistake love to be a relationship. Love blossoms when all needs are finished. Love is an unseen but realized. It is beyond all that is known. It is an experience of your innerness. When the spirit and the humus are in communion with one another, love is born. Each relationship that you entertain evolves out of subconscious. Also as an individual, your subconscious differs from that of the other. No two individuals can have the same subconscious that is important. Between two individuals, there is a vast ocean. No two individuals can have the same subconscious and unconscious. Between two individuals, there is a vast ocean. You can swim through this ocean or drown it. The choice is always yours. This makes each unique and this gives rise to ego and makes the journey even more difficult. And when there is a clash of egos, ego is the false entity. You have not experienced your beingness, then love creates problems. It requires tremendous understanding to move together. Also, it requires an understanding that this togetherness has a purpose, and the purpose is a spiritual growth so that each can attain to fruition. There are certain things that you can do on your own and certain things you have to do in together. Love is a togetherness, is an understanding that our purpose together is a spiritual growth so that each can attain to fruition and blossom into flower. The journey requires togetherness. Both are dependent on one another for their growth. This dependence has to become interdependence first. And then one day, each one of you has to become independent of a constant need of being cared for by a woman or a man. That is the day that one actually becomes mature when you are not dependent on the other. For your sustenance, you don't need assistance from anyone. You are total in your own way. That is the day when you are finished with your mother. That is the day you can start loving a woman or a man. Every man looks in his spouse the image of his mother and every woman looks in the Im image of her spouse the image of her father because mother and father they are the first persons that one encounters in life in sociology there is a word that is used oedipus complex Oedipus was a boy, he loved his mother and in order to marry his mother, he killed his father. Because in the life of every woman, father is the first man and in the life of every man, mother is the first woman. You would like to love your mother or father in the same way as they do, but that is not possible. This creates, that is the beginning of the failure in love life. So you have to experience 
your own innerness first and the day you are finished with your mother only then you will be able to start loving a woman or a man otherwise in every woman you will go on searching your mother or in every man you will go on searching your father and we really do not realize what is the cause of the problem in our life then this is going to be false love it is going to be political because you need the care you pretend to love but that is not mature enough you are like the child hanging on to the mother or to the father if you continue this way you will never know what love is one has to be finished with this dependent only when you are finished with it then for the first time you will be able to decide then for the first time you will be able to decide whether you love this woman or not because now there is no need now you can share and in the ultimate flowering love is a sharing because it does not evolve out of your need but it evolves out of your total fulfillment when there is no need only then love flowers love blossoms only when all needs are the physical emotional psychological and intellectual levels have disappeared love is the most luxurious things in the world and beggars cannot have it although they pretend to have it only kings the man who is full within can experience the luxury of love it is not a need instead it is the last luxury the ultimate luxury if you still need love it is just as any other needs one needs food or shelter or clothes your love is that kind of need one needs this and that then love is also a part of this world if love is still your need you are not ready for the life beyond love belongs to the dimension beyond the moon that is why love remains unknown and unknown and jesus says god is love because god is unknown and unknowable love first gives birth to you and then love evolves then it helps you to grow into maturity in many other dimensions when there is no need of love at any level of your being and you are simply flowering with energy and you would like to share it with someone and someone has now begun to overflow with energy and would like to share with you then you both offer your energies to an unknown god and that unknown god is god of love then love is not need instead it is a sharing and it is sheer luxury because it is purpose it has no business to do it is intrinsic it is not a means to anything else it is a great it is a merger of two overflowing energies love is a state of your consciousness when you are joyous when there is a dance in your being love blossoms something starts vibrating and radiating from your center then something starts pulsating around you it starts reaching people around you it can reach women also it can reach men so too it can reach rocks trees and stars this is cosmic 
the overflow of love towards the entire creation is the cosmic dance of Shiva, the Hindu, the God of the Trinity and it is dance of ecstasy. When I speak of love, this is what I am overflowing. Such love is not a relationship, instead it is a state of being. Whenever I use the word love, it is a state of your being. Because there is no other word as profound as love. I use it as a state of being, not as a relationship. Relationship is only a mirror aspect of it. But your idea of love is basically that of relationship, if that is all. The nature of relationship goes on changing because it is the mirror of the state of your being. Your being operates through various stages of consciousness and any change in your state of consciousness will unfold different natures of relationship. I am not speaking of love as it evolves when everything and all the states dissolve into one another. I am speaking of love as it evolves when everything and all the states dissolve into one another and nothing remains except oneness. Relationship is needed only because you cannot be alone. Consciousness is still muddled. You have not known the cause of relationship. Because you are not yet capable of meditation, you cannot know why two persons have to enter into relationship. Hence, meditation is a must before you can really love. One should be capable of being alone, utterly alone, and yet tremendously blissful without meditation. No understanding can dawn, and without understanding, relationship cannot attain to fruition. Then you can love. Then your love is no longer a need instant, it is a sharing, no longer a necessity. You will not become dependent on the people you love. You will share, and sharing is beautiful. That is what I am doing. Sharing my being, my presence, and my love with you beyond male female bondage. It does not matter to me who is listening, whether it is a male or female. But what ordinarily happens in the world, you do not have love. The person you think you love has no love in his or her being either. Both are seeking for love from each other. None has experienced this deep within. Two beggars begging each other. Hence there is fight, the conflict, the continuous quarrel between lovers over trivial matters, over immaterial and stupid things. Thus life goes on. The basic query is that the husband thinks he is not getting what is his right to get. The wife too thinks she is not getting what her right to get. The wife thinks she has been deceived and betrayed to him. The husband also thinks that he has been deceived. In this they do not say that. All the quarrels and all that are reflection of this. Where is the love then? Nobody bothers to give. What you say of shame, everyone wants to get. And when everybody is seeking to get love, nobody gets it. And everybody feels at loss, empty miserable and tears. The basic foundation of love is missing. It is like making the temple without the foundation. 
it is bound to fall and collapse any moment. And you know how many times your love has collapsed. And still you go on doing the same thing again and again. Moving from one spouse to another. And nothing happens. You go on changing the partners without even creating the foundation. The foundation of love is aloneness. Aloneness is the fragrance of meditation. You live in such unawareness. You do not see what you have been doing to your life and to others. You go on living mechanically like a robot. You go on repeating the old patterns, knowing perfectly well you have done this before. You entered into one relationship that turned sour. You have not learned anything. Failures have not taught you anything. Instead of seeking the cause, you entered into another relationship without bringing a basic change in you. Also you know the outcome of this. And deep down you are also alert that it is going to happen the same way again because there is no difference. You are preparing for the same conclusion, the same collapse and the same misery. If you can learn anything from the failure of love, you are going to become more aware and more meditative. And by meditation I mean the capacity to be joyous, to be happy and alone. Very rarely you will find someone capable of being blissful for no reason at all, just sitting silently and blissful. Others will think you mad because the idea of happiness is that it has to come from somebody else. In reality, bliss is the outcome of alone. You meet a beautiful woman and you are happy. Or you meet a beautiful man and you are happy. However, sitting silently in your room and being blissful is considered crazy or something. It is very rarely you will find such a person who is blissful by himself, no TV, no phone, no one is needed for his bliss. Meditation is realizing your own psychedelic powers. It is realizing your own hidden splendor and you become so joyous. A celebration arises in your being and you need to have relationship. You still you can relate with people and that alone is the difference between the relating and relationship. Relationship is a commodity. Relationship is a stationary. Relating is a process. You cling to relationship and remain stuck and miserable. Move from relationship to relating. Learn the art of relating. Relating is a flow, a movement, a process. You meet a person, you are overflowing because you have so much love to give. And the more you give, the more you have. Once you have understood this strange arithmetic of love, that the more you give, the more you have, you will be blissful. It is just against the economic laws that operates in the outside world. Once you have known that, if you want to have more love and more joy, you have to learn to share. When you simply, sh then you simply share. And whosoever allows you to share your joy with him or her, you feel grateful to the person. But it is not a relationship. It is like a river, like flow. The river flows and passes by the side of a tree, greeting the tree, nourishing it, giving water to the tree, and then river moves on, dances on. It does not cling to the tree, and the tree does not hanker for the river. 
The tree never laments, where are you going? We are mad. And before you can leave me, you will need a divorce, at least a separation. Where are you? And if you are going to leave me, why did you dance fully around me in the first place? Why did you nourish me in the first place also? Nothing like that happens. And the tree in return showers its flowers onto the river out of deep gratitude. And then the river moves on. The wind comes and dances around the tree and moves on. And the tree fills the wind with its fragrance in return. Winds come and dances around the tree and moves on. And in return, the tree fills the wind with its fragrance. The entire universe is sharing except man. This is a reality. If humanity is ever going to become grown up or mature, this will be the way of love. People meeting, sharing, moving in a very non-possessive manner, flowing like a river or blowing, surging through tree leaves, is indeed love that transcends all boundaries of finite. That is the essence of love. And unless you come to know this, you have not known the essence of 